Hi, my name is Barbara from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. So today I thought we'd get our gel press plates out again and some alcohol inks. So let's have a look what we're going to do. I, I thought we would try this to begin with, which is a really uh, interesting uh, arty piece using stencils. And then what's interesting as well is that we're going to produce this from the scrap. So let's have a go and I'll show you where we're going to start. First of all, we've got these wonderful little stencils. Now you'll see these are tiny little stencils. Look at my hand. And I want to use just one of these. There are seven in the set. You could use any one of these because the interest is actually in the, in the plastic, in the mylar. It comes, this little set comes with a really neat little framing um, stencil. So this is great for all kinds of things with mixed media and inks, but I'm gonna use it today on the gel press with alcohol ink. Um, also worth pointing out, these come with some fantastic uh, new three-way overlay stamps that we have also introduced, uh, but I think I'll save that for another day. And the one that I'm gonna use today is this one here. So the first thing I want to do is take my gel press and so that you can see at home what I'm actually doing, I think I'll add a piece of copy paper underneath. Cool, this looks well loved, doesn't it? So let me just get my ingredients together. I need a brayer to spread out the, uh, the alcohol ink. I need a piece of copy paper. I need a selection of the, the alcohol, alcohol inks. Um, that'll work. And then I... I need my stencil at the ready because, you, as you know, alcohol ink dries quite quickly. Bit of copy paper for blotting and I think we're good to go. So let's have a look. First of all, I just want to put a little bit of alcohol ink, just run a little bit. You'll find when you do this, um, the more ink you use, I'm going to state the obvious here, the more ink you use, the more colourful your piece will be. Um, you'll never be able to... Um, reproduce a piece perfectly. It will not be possible. So we've got some red, some yellow. I think that's one of the things about unpredictable art is that you can't really predict the outcome, but we'll give it a go. So we've got these four colors. I've used blue, red, yellow, and green. I've used the prime colors there. And then I'm gonna take a brayer, a speedball brayer, and I'm just gonna spread the color gently across here. And so that we don't get a there we go. So we don't get mud. I'm just going to go like that and then I'll just drop that colour off there. So I've spread the alcohol ink out. It's drying as I speak. So then I'm going to just drop that stencil into the centre. And then I'll take a piece of copy paper just to make sure that it's sat properly and we haven't got too many bubbles. There we go. And I'm just going to blot. You see how it picks up? Look, look how quickly it's still, it's still wet now, but you can see, look, I could put fingerprints in it. That wasn't so clever, Gray. Right, okay. But that's what we've got now is, look, see the little bubbles? You can chase it around. But I reckon you'll find that it dries quite quickly. Um, just, right, here we go. And you'll see already, because of the solvent property in the alcohol ink now, I reckon that'll be pretty dry. There you go. So this is going to be quite a colourful one. That's okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is, uh, what the, the key is, underneath the stencil is still, um, it's definitely still wet. So I don't get the paint out yet, Gray. Right, black archival ink pad, and I'm gonna use a blending tool. And what I want to do now is what we're trying to do, let's go back to the original one. You see the, the, the blackness in here. Now let me see, if I turn this round to you, perhaps you can see it better there. You see the blackness in there and a little bit of white gray around here. This is what we're going for. So let's see if we can just introduce that. What you'll find is when you use black archival ink, just gently with a blending tool, what this will do it will actually lift some of the colour off as well. See around here where I made a bit of a mosh? What we're going to do now is just lift the colour off and the, the archival ink will take it off. There we go, it's just where it should do. Right, here we are. So we'll just do this and we'll just add a little bit of the archival ink around there and you can see it's lifting it off. Let's go to another area and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right, we we'll just use the archival ink to blot it. Okay, that'll do. Let's see what happens when I, I now, I'm going to blot this again. 
and we'll take out, see the blackness? We're going to take some of the blackness out of there. We can always reintroduce it, but I reckon that'll be good. So that's what I want to do for now. Got a couple of dots in there. Let's lift this off now. Let's see what happens. When I lift this off, now I've got ink on there. Don't worry about that. We can reinvigorate that. And now if I wanted to get rid of some of the ink, look, I can just lift off. See how the ink within that white, see how I've, I've eliminated quite a lot of it. So this is going to be quite a light one, isn't it? Maybe I took too much off. But there you go. This is called Unpredictable Art, Mixed Media and Adventure. Okay, so that needs to dry before I can do the next step. It, I don't need it for the moment. So we'll just move that over there. And now we're going to work with this little guy. So this has got alcohol ink on it, but my guess is that it's probably already dry. Let me take a piece of copy paper and check for you. Actually, I'll check for me as well. Let me just have a look. Yeah, see? So it dries very quickly, doesn't it, on the stencil? But if we use blending solution, the blending solution will re, re, reinvigor it so it will get going again. Right, trick number two. So let's just recap. I do this for me more than you. This one is the one on the gel press that we're going to lift a print off in a minute. Won't look like this, but the theory's there. And then this one is the one that we're going to try and recreate now using the ink on here. All right, that's the theory. Okay, enter the Gemini machine or any mangle. Just call it a mangle. You just need to apply pressure. And I'm going to use um, very glossy card. We call this chromo card at Clarity. It's ultra glossy, chromolux. Right. Available from claritystamp.com. And what we're going to do is get our plate sequence. So I just need, I need a bit of copy paper so I don't get alcohol ink and blending solution all over me lovely mat. And then I'll, I'll probably take another bit of copy paper so I don't get alcohol and blending solution all over me other lovely mat. So that's going to be my sandwich. Right, turn the machine on. Right, off we go. Are you ready? Ah, oh, there's nothing like a bit of pressure. Right, blender, blending solution. But instead of spritzing the stencil, I'm going to spritz the card. But I've got to be quick because we know that this stuff dries really quickly. So I just hold it over here for a minute so I can see where I'm, I'm hitting it. <laughs> Can't see a thing here. Right, okay, that's better. Right, I can see now. Right, so I'm going to soak this with alcohol. That'll do. Then I'll pop that on my copy paper. Then I'll take my stencil. It's drying, it's drying, it's drying. So get, get with it. Right, and then we'll drop that in there like so. Then we'll make our sandwich. Right, so I've got my copy paper sandwich. See, if it's not wet enough, then what will happen? How does she know these things? You won't be able to peel the stencil off and then you'll learn something that you could learn in no other way. Right. All we need is pressure. If I could do this with a brayer, I'd do it with a brayer but I can't, I need a mangle of some description. Grand Calibre, uh, all those couple bugs. Gemini is the best one, it really is the latest and it's the newest, I love it. Right, let's see, okay, here we go. Drum roll, all right. let's take this off. So far, so good. <laughs> right, please come off. Yes, and we have lift off. So look at that. So what we've got here is an ultra glossy print. It's come out really nice. Are we getting the, sh are we getting the shine on that? Right, and now let's have a look at what I've got here. And you'll see the only thing that I've introduced is a little bit of color into, into here. So we're gonna take the stencil again. Let's finish this one off. Let's go to here and I'll take that. Then where was the stencil? Here it is. Right, so we'll take the stencil and you'll see because we've done a print, I can take this stencil like so, and I'll take a makeup sponge and a little bit of red ink. Now I don't want to overcook it, but what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of ink. Right, get rid of the excess, because you can always add it, but you can't take it away. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of interest inside that flower. Right, not too much, and it's picking up a bit of the black as well, which is actually quite nice. So we'll just do that. Let's have a look. Nice enough. It's picking up the black, isn't it? Of course, I could always clean the stencil if I were a... But you can see what I'm getting at anyway. That'll do. 
Right. Right. Freeze this for a minute. You go and put the kettle on. I'm going to clean my stencil because this needs to be red and not purple. Go and put the kettle on. Thank you. Right. Now we've got a clean stencil, we can go again. And we'll just see if this helps. Okay, and suddenly it was redder, which is where we're headed, isn't it? Otherwise it won't look right. So there we go. So add a bit of redness to that, not too much gray. Leave a little bit of a highlight. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. It wasn't so muggy. So the trick is to clean the stencil, get rid of the black before you do that. Right, then you trim it and then you add it to a, see how I've just added it to a, a lovely red painted mount board and that becomes that instantly as soon as you do that. Okay, part one. So now moving on to the gel press, let's see what's happening over here, shall we? Mm -hmm. Enter the gel press. Okay, now what we need, we're going to pull a print. Well, we do like a bit of unpredictable art, don't we, Gray? Right, we need some stencil card, which is the same size, if you like, as the, um, as the mount that the gel press plate is on. Right, that'll work. Okay, white paint, white acrylic paint. I use the Viva Decor acrylic paint, that works a treat. Now, hopefully, my bray is clean, otherwise white won't be white either. That'll do. What we want to do is pull this print off. Okay, shake it well. And then I'm just going to add, make a note of how much I use. Okay, that will do. And then I need a bit of floppy paper just to get rid of the excess. And now we're just going to gently spread. Okay, so we're going to spread. And I've taken the copy paper out from underneath so you can actually see how much paint I'm using. And you'll see I'm not pressing hard. And what we need to do now, if you've got too much on this paint, it won't, it, it, would, it won't pull. So we'll just get rid of some excess. And then what we're going to do is just gently, just go over like this. I reckon we're nearly there now. I reckon we're just about ready to pull a print. Should we have a go? Okay. Right. Get your paper, your card, your stencil card. Here it is. And then we'll lift it up and then we're going to turn this over and we'll see what we've got. And we'll line up the outside edge with the outside of the mega mount, as we call it. And then we're going to press down like so. What do you think? Ooh. Okay, All right. turn it over and then we'll burnish the back. So rub hard. There are no guarantees in life, but we can give it a go. He who dares and all that. Right, you ready? Drum roll. And then we peel off our print. Look at that. And everyone's an original. Isn't that lovely? Look, and the jelly plate, the gel press plate is completely clean. And we've got a really nice print. I'm really glad I blotted the middle. Do you see how it's brought out a lot more white in there? And then the only other thing to finish, the only thing that I would suggest that you do before you uh, mount this, the only thing that I've done here, which is different, is I've taken a Sharpie pen like this and then I've just run it down the edge like so. And this will just, watch how easy is this, just get the, dig in with the nib and then run that archival, oh no, not it's like an alcohol pen at Sharpie, cheapest chips. Right, and then you just mount that. Look, 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 look. Mount that on there. Isn't that nice? Look, super. So we've got two for the price of one here, because you've got that one, well, actually, that one, which is nicer, because it's even whiter, and that one. But there you go. So what we've done is we've pulled a print on a gel press using alcohol ink as an undercoat and then we've lifted it with white acrylic paint and then what we did with the stencil that had the, the alcohol ink on was we rejuvenated the ink by actually spritzing the ultra glossy chroma card and then running it through a mangle. So there we are and we've used these lovely um, stencils from Clarity. So 
I hope you enjoyed that. I did and I'm glad it worked. Um, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. I blog every day, Barbara Gray uh, blog, barbaragrayblog.com. And uh, if you're interested in any of the um, things that I've used here, then head on over to our website, www.claritystamp.co. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.